A lot of the time when we want to repeat the programs, we want to repeat some code we've already written a certain number of times, um, instead of have to write it out five, six, seven, eight times again. Um, to do this, we use loop. Because we're using a loop to repeat one lot of code instead of writing out five, six, seven, eight times, we're making our program shorter and therefore what we call more efficient. There are lots of different types of loops. The one I'm going to start with is what we call a fixed or a count controlled loop, which repeats the code inside it a certain number of times, an absolutely definite number of times. Um, so what we're going to do, the count control loop, we write by using for. So you might have heard it called a for loop before. Once we've done that, we need a variable to keep count of how many times our loop has run. So I'm going to call my variable counter. The counter equals, and I'm going to set my counter from 1 to 5. Now, what that does is it creates me a local variable here. This variable only exists between 4 and next. Anything between 4 and next is going to get repeated 5 times. So, um, just to make it simple, I'm going to put one line of code. This line gets repeated. There we go. And what will happen is it will execute that line of code, print that line to the screen first time. Counter will go up by 1 to 2. It will keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until counter gets to five. Then it will go to next and it will move on to the next line. So oh, this line gets printed when the loop finishes. Can't spell finishes, but there we go. This line gets printed when the loop finishes. So what you need to understand here is that counter is the variable that keeps track of how many times the loop has run. You can set counter's start value here and its end value here to control how many times the loop runs. And anything between four and next gets repeated that many times. Once the loop has finished, the program moves on to the next instruction down. But let's see if this works. Whilst we're waiting for it to build, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Repeats of that line of code, and then it moves on and repeats line nine there. So that seems to be working. One thing you might see, I've used the word counter for my variable there. You might see um, a variable used here a lot called i which is short for index and that's a standard variable that is used a lot in computer programming when you're using for loops. i is basically the counter variable for your loop. It's short for index which means the number of times the loop has run. 